My name is Markus Sill, and this project is collaborative work with Robert Kutschmann. In this video, we present the SMORS platform, the first fully activated soft multi-rotor UAV. SMORS is designed to enable multimodal locomotion and robust interaction. Our work is inspired by nature, where many flying animals like birds and insects are as well able to effectively move on the ground. The multimodal locomotion could enable the ability to adapt motion to different environments and allow for more energy efficient locomotion. Examples from animality that combine flying and jumping are birds, bats, and locusts, to name only a few. The contribution of the paper in this talk is as follows. First, we describe and model the aerial robot. Second, we present a closed loop controller for jumping and locomotion tasks. Finally, we validate the controller on a simulated jumping locomotion and demonstrate experimentally that the multimodal locomotion is more energy efficient than conventional flying. Unlike conventional hexarotors, SMORS is equipped with three rigid and three continuously soft arms, each hosting a propeller. Every single propeller is slightly tilted. This allows generating an independent force and torque profile with respect to the main body, independent of the arms configuration within the limits of the individual propeller force. This property is often called full actuation. Every soft arm is equipped with a motor-driven tendon, here drawn in blue, that can change the deflection of the soft arm. The force of the propeller causes an additional deflection of the arm. To model the soft arms, we utilize the dynamically consistent augmented formulation that represents the soft arm with sufficient accuracy by augmenting every single segment by four conventional joints, consisting of two rotational and two translational joints. To describe the dynamics of a single arm, we derive the augmented Euler-Lagrange formulation, where B represents the inertial matrix, C the Coriolis and centrifugal terms, G the terms due to gravity, tau the augmented inputs, and F the external wrench. To express the dynamics of the augmented formulation to the true state of the arm, we can express the configuration and its derivative with respect to the relative rotation angle Q. The dynamics of the full platform are as well modeled using the Euler-Lagrange formulation. For a full derivation of the single elements, we refer you to the paper. The final inputs to the system are now the six rotor spinning velocities U and tau are the control inputs of the arms. In a nutshell, the controller is based on feedback linearization, utilizing the Moore-Penrose inverse. This approach has proven its applicability in several works on fully actuated systems. The control input nu is computed by the error terms of position and orientation of the main body and the position error of the arm and their derivatives. In the first experiment, we conducted a multimodal jumping locomotion. During contact with the ground, the soft arm store energy that is realized in the upwards motion. A detailed discussion of this experiment can be found in the paper. In the second experiment, we conducted a more complex jumping locomotion on a half pipe trajectory. It becomes obvious that the position and attitude error remain small and the desired actuation forces of the propeller remain positive and inside the physical limits. We would like to point out again that the multimodality of the locomotion is significantly more energy efficient than conventional flying. As a next step, we want to test the actual SMORS prototype that is currently under construction and tested in more complex maneuvers like pick and place tasks. Thank you very much for your attention.